Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. So here the question, first of all, read the question very carefully. When the brachial plexus is injured in the axilla as a result of crush palsy, which of the nerve listed is most commonly affected? So after careful reading, we have to find out the key points for answering the question so when the brachial plexus is injured at in the axilla as a result of the crush palsy which of the nerve listed is com most commonly affected that means crush is uh, used for uh, in a patient who usually dual limb injury for helping the other hand uh, during the work uh, so in this process if any nerve is injured then the nerve is which nerve here the options the options are thoraco dorsal nerve supra scapular nerve radial nerve ulnar nerve and long thoracic nerve so we have to find out one of the options which is compatible or which will be the answer of this question that in the axilla for crash palsy or who is using crash uh, for his uh, or her uh, working purpose then what nerve will be affected here we can see the man and uh, he is using a crush and here is the at the axilla and the upper end of the crush it lies at the axilla and it also can occur in case of the saturday night palsy also here because in this case the upper part of the chair compress at the axilla so here we can see in the this part of the axilla there is a nerve passing and this nerve is the radial nerve so radial nerve may be compressed due to the using of the crush because crush is placed at this place and this place the nerve is the radial nerve so radial nerve it is very very common for crush injury and here we can see for the crush injury the uh, problem or the uh, Clinical pressure will arise first of all, it is the wrist drop because the radial nerve it supplies the extensive surface of the wrist. Uh, so uh, if crash palsy occur, then first of all wrist drop develop, then the sensory area which is supplied by the radial nerve, which you can see here in this area of the hand, it will be affected. So there will be sensory loss in the first dorsal interosei and other area which is supplied by the radial nerve and loss of extension of the finger, wrist and thumb. They will be occur. Here in this female we can see here uh, she is using crush and at the axilla radial nerve passes here the radial nerve passes so there is every possible of injury of the radial nerve so our final answer is the radial nerve the radial nerve is most commonly affected during the crush palsy when the crush usually placed in the axilla thank you all